Hello, this is Jew. Hey, look what we have here. Well, I am in ChatGPT and actually the new ChatGPT 5. And I've been using ChatGPT like probably a lot of you uh, for a while now. And it is extremely useful. It has helped me considerably, but it does have a problem. And that problem is it tends to make things up. So in the artificial intelligence or AI world, this is typically called hallucinations. Now, hallucinations refer to the generation of content that sounds plausible, but is actually false, misleading, or unsupported by evidence. So why does ChatGPT do this? Well, it's not intentional fabrications. It's really a result of the model predicting text-based patterns in its training data without direct fact-checking or awareness of truth. And this is one of the biggest hurdles that the AI community has been struggling with, essentially to get AI to tell the truth or not make things up. But there are things you can do to help reduce the amount of fabrications you receive, and that is in the settings of ChatGPT itself. And so I've been working on this for a while, and I think I've come up with at least some solutions to help uh, ChatGPT start reducing its hallucinations. And these are in the settings under custom instructions and also the saved memories that ChatGPT gives itself. So you access these by going to the lower left of your computer screen or your app to your user icon and just selecting settings and then personalization. And from there, you'll see two items. One of them is custom instructions or customized uh, chat GPT, which is the same thing, and also manage memories. So the custom instructions are preferences or requirements you set for how ChatGPT responds to you. And saved memories are pieces of information that ChatGPT stores about you over time if you choose. Essentially, both are controlled by you, but the saved memories you actually have to request ChatGPT includes into the memories where the custom instructions you could actually enter yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and start with custom instructions. And as you can see here, my custom instructions is on. So that's one of the things you do want on. So we'll go ahead and click here. And here you'll see my custom instructions. Uh, now I have already inputted my custom instructions and I'll show you what those are in a bit. But you do want to enable this. Now, uh, there's a few uh, things I don't have. Uh, I don't have a preferred nickname. You could add a nickname if you want. Uh, what do you do? Like, uh, you know, if, you, if you're uh, uh, in medicine or construction or a broker, etc., you could put that information in and chat will use that information to help customize some of its responses. But what we're really interested in are these two right here. What traits should GP, uh, chat GPT have? Okay, so those are basically the traits you want it to do when it gives you uh, uh, information. And then under here is anything else chat GPT should know about you. Okay, so uh, just looking at my inputs here, and I'll show you this on the screen, you could see it has a fair amount of detail. Uh, I kind of made mine into bullets. But each one of these has a header, like the first one here. It says tone and style. And so uh, for chat, for each one of these um, entries, for each one of these boxes, you could have different types of headers. And so the list you see right here are the different types of headers that ChatGPT likes to see in the what traits section of the custom uh, instructions. And as you can see, there's six of them. Uh, the ones uh, highlighted in bold uh, are the most important ones. These are the ones that ChatGPT kind of has a higher priority when, they, when it reads your instructions. And the first one, of course, is tone and style. Now, this is like neutral, objective, factual, et cetera. And then the next one is accuracy and sourcing, which is very important. This helps uh, chat 
be aware that you you actually want truthful information. And then, of course, structure and clarity. You can kind of read the descriptions here. And then quoting rules. Now, this one I really like because if you want chat to review a document and quote uh, various sections, you might have noticed that chat sometimes uses quotation marks for quotes that don't exist. And so you go back to the document to find that quote and it doesn't actually exist. And so quoting rules are very important. And this is one of the ones that I uh, have in particular. And then you have search search and verification and then prohibited patterns. So those are the, the top headers. And so for each one of these headers, you will have instructions underneath it that tells what you want. And so for this particular section, this is generally the text I have chosen. So I basically uh, kind of bracketed into the three headers here. I only used the, the three of them, so tone and style. So just reading through it, the first one is uh, neutral, objective, uh, factual tone, use commas and periods, formal punctuations and grammar, etc. Uh, I, the next one, concise, well-structured sentences. The end of this is very important. Uh, you want to avoid patterns revealing AI authorship, especially if you're going to be using some of the text that uh, ChatGPT uses. That's an important feature. And uh, the last part is never fabricate facts, sources, or quotes. Uh, so that's uh, what you see there. And underneath, you get some accuracy of uh, sort and sourcing, avoid speculation, state clear and un, uh, if unknown or uncertain. Uh, you can see the different uh, entries I have here. And then quoting rules, very important. Um, uh, use quotation marks only for exact verbatim excerpts. Etc. And so you can see some of the bullet points I have here. And you could re rewrite this the way you want, or you could just copy this from your screen as you see it here and see if it works for you. Okay, so those are the traits I do want ChatGP to have. Uh, however, uh, I must emphasize that these will only go so far. Uh, is look at the quoting rules. They are pretty explicit, just uh, do verbatim quotes, etc. But I have noticed that chat still sometimes, not as often as it used to, but still sometimes makes up quotes. So you do want to verify all the information you are receiving because even though these bullet points seem pretty obvious and um, explicit, chat still sometimes uh, starts making things up. And this is partly because it relies on its internal memory over what is on the internet. And so sometimes you actually have to ask it to uh, review more information or do more an exhaustive search, or it'll just start making up some information. So just be warned that this is not a panacea things will still happen and you still need to verify the information. Okay, let's go ahead and move down to anything ChatGPT should know about you. Now, uh, these are uh, the entries I put into mine. You could uh, change yours as well. Uh, but uh, again, the headers are uh, similar but slightly different. Now, I put up the core uh, headers right here. And as you can see, uh, there's values and priorities, experience and knowledge level, information needs. Now, those are the top uh, high priority ones that chat uses. There's also uh, topic focus and contextual constraints. Uh, there, there's some other minor ones as well, but these are the main five. And then just kind of moving uh, to the, the entries I put in, you can see here, you know, under values, I want accuracy, clarity, uh, evidence-based, et cetera, uh, up-to-date information. Uh, under experience, I'm com comfortable with technical details uh, when relevant. Um, and then responses, I want concise, well-structured answers, um, use uh, reputable sources, et cetera. And uh, again, you could make these custom to yourself and just see how chat responds. And you may uh, want to change them or modify the wording 
to get your best results. So uh, those are uh, the entries I put in here. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the custom instructions here. So let's go ahead and click out of that. And now we're gonna go into the saved memories. Again, uh, only chat could enter the saved memories, but you could tell it explicitly what to put in those saved memories. And uh, it's my understanding that chat prioritizes the custom instructions first, and then the saved memories second. And so if there's a conflict between the two, it will defer to your custom instructions. So let's go ahead into the managed memories here. And as you can see, these are all the entries that chat has entered into its saved memories. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the traits. It actually says, what traits do you want? And I think these are pretty much verbatim to what I put in my custom instructions. There's a few other instructions here, as you can see right there. There's a tone and style instruction there. And then there's, uh, as you can see, the headers are slightly different here. It says strict requirements, strict requirements. Now, um, I will show you uh, the headers that uh, chat will use. And you could specifically say, put these bullet points into strict requirements or a different header. So you, again, you'll have to uh, tell a chat to do that. So if I back up and... I pretty much just have my custom instructions into the saved memories. So basically, you know, like uh, what traits I have here, I basically uh, copied that uh, left and just said, uh, chat, please include these, you know, pasted that and just say, please include these into your saved memories. And it does that. And then the next time you, uh, here, let me delete this. I don't want anything changed here. But the next time you go ahead into your uh, your settings and go into manage, you will see those instructions in the saved memories. And if it doesn't look, uh, since since chat actually writes these, these memories, uh, if they don't look exactly the way you want them to, you can delete them, you can remove them, and then just ask chat to rewrite them and until you are satisfied with how they're written. Again, uh, these may be identical to what you have in your custom instructions or different. As you work with chat, you could just randomly ask chat to put certain aspects or traits into saved memories. And you just, in, in the text bar right here, you say, please add that to saved memories and chat will do that. So uh, again, the prioritization uh, is the custom instructions and then the saved memories. However, uh, it's good to have similar instructions in both because chat has such a problem with following instructions that sometimes you have to say things twice. So again, that is how uh, I have customized my chat GPT to hopefully give me better information and more truthful information. Again, I think the most important thing is truth in, in reporting. So as long as ch chat gives me truthful and accurate information, I'm pretty happy with it. It's when it gives me uh, false or uh, incorrect information or just outright lies to me where I kind of get upset. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.